Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. Today, joined by Dr. Dylan Luter. Hi. He is one of our boarded surgeons in large animal here at Kansas State University and is a cl clinical assistant professor uh, here at the vet school. So welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, probably a lot of times uh, Dr. Luter would be somebody that a lot of people would see during emergency uh, services and a lot of people say, well, I hope I don't get to see you, but uh, it's sure nice to have you here. That's sure, yeah, we say that a lot. <laughs> One of the other things that I think that a lot of people don't know is your interest uh, even in lameness and other modalities of lameness too here at the vet school. And uh, maybe that's a, a great topic to at least to discuss as far as options that we have here at the vet school when it comes to if your horse is lame or we need to figure something out as far as a lameness within a horse. So kind of briefly kind of give us a synopsis of what Kansas State has to offer uh, through equine lameness. Sure, yeah. Well, we have all of the clinicians here see horses for equine lameness, and I, I certainly have a, a big interest in that. And I uh, can start out with just the, a very simple lameness exam uh, the, to sort of figure out uh, where the source of the lameness is coming from, and if it's something that more sophisticated, we do have the, uh, the lameness locator system, the computerized lameness system that we can put on there and, and find some other things out and then once we have um, figured out wh which leg and what area of the leg it's coming from we you know have a number of different modalities that that we can go to be that we are a brand new digital radiography unit that uh, has wireless receivers so that's always nice with not not getting tangled up in that we have a brand new ultrasound uh, for getting excellent images of uh, tendons and ligaments in those structures and and then uh, most recently we have a, a new CT unit which we're standing in front of that we are uh, developing the techniques for to use uh, different contrast enhanced methods and, and CTing equine limbs to find uh, various problems in, that would cause lameness. So. You know, and I think that uh, some owners, they don't actually realize that very similar things that they use in the human realm for any orthopedic aspect. We uh, are developing and using it more in our other species, including the horse. Yeah, there's, oh, there are lots of things that um, I talk to people every day and they say, oh wow, I didn't know you could do that in a horse. And certainly the imaging and the lameness aspect of things are right on the forefront, I think. You know, and I think that something you know, we always have to remember as far as our horse is it's hard to say, hold still while you sit on the table, so we got to anesthetize them and, and do it if, if end up needing a, a CT or uh, even potentially an MRI. Uh, and that's something else maybe to just mention. What are some things on the forefront of uh, things that's going to be added here at uh, Kansas State Veterinary Health Center? Yeah, well, we're very excited. Um, of course, we have the Equine Performance Testing Center that we've been discussing uh, the last several years, and that's uh, finally going to be uh, come to fruition and get built. And then we also have a brand new MRI. We're updating our MRI facilities so that we can offer those to our equine clients, and hopefully within the next year that will be uh, available. So lots of exciting things. Yeah, cool. Well, I sure appreciate uh, Dr. Luter uh, just discussing all the different uh, modalities that we have here at the vet school. It is exciting. Uh, and if owners would like to know more information uh, about uh, here or Dr. Luter or anything that we have to offer for horses, just give us a call here at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center and we'll sure be uh, happy to to entertain any questions or concerns you may have uh, on your horse. Yep, thank you. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center and we'll see you around. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.